the holiday was. Nobody likes it, and almost everybody dreads it. And I'm not just talking about beating the traffic jam, which you know is one holiday staple that everybody hates. Just to make it to your family or friends' hacienda for their holiday soiree. I'm talking about you feeling like you're rushing at breakneck speed to throw your own holiday party in your own house. Whether that be for Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, or Chanukkah, as some people pronounce it, or Christmas. But it shouldn't have to feel that way. No more since you feel like you're running 105 on the 105. Or that you're feeling unrelaxed like you're about to catch a departing flight from LATS, LAX. No. For this holiday season, TSI invites you to take a trip and a queue down home. Down home, people take their time, they plan ahead, and they put thoughtful care and consideration into whatever they're making for the holiday season ahead. And really, the holiday season can be 365 days a year as far as I'm concerned. Down home, by the way, is not just relegated to the South. It could be any rural area in these United States. For example, it could be Idaho, Iowa, Montana, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington State, you might name a few states in the comment section that feel down home to you. Or it could also be the suburbs outside of some cosmopolitan area, like for example, New York City, right? Little do you know there's actually a New York State. In fact, in New York State, it's central wine country for the East Coast. No matter where you think down home might be, those people down home do know how to take pride in their work. They know how to savor their creation coming to life through their own hands. So that way, when they and you finally enjoy their creation, it makes it all the more satisfying and borderline gratifying, especially if you do it yourself. No matter if it's setting up a tablescape or curating a music playlist from scratch, or in this case, cooking up some of the main players in this holiday game, the recipes. And that's where these cookbooks and TSR comes in. TSR is going to go down home for the holidays with a review of three cookbooks, all published by black authors, I'm pleased to say. If you're looking to make it a singular holiday affair that's still a family affair, well then we got the singular, unequaled Al Walker. If you want to make it a real family affair, take a cue from the smaller siblings or the Neelys. Formerly husband and wife. No matter what cookbook or what author suits your fancy, any one of these cookbooks should hopefully give you a holiday feast that is fun, carefree, and maybe even a little bit fancy, but always easy. Join us now as the thrift store one down brings Hollywood down home for the holidays on a budget. once a week. <laughs> that explains all these fingerprints. Did I set enough places? I did set it for six. Out again. There's five. Get your drink. Regular or diet? Regular? I'm hungry. Dinner's ready. I'll sit next to Carson. Just sit next to Adam, too. Get this macaroni and cheese. I'm telling you, boy. Who wants to say grace? Dear God, Thank you for this food. We thank you for this food. And for your mercy and protection. And let us always remember the needs of others. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 
To begin with, we're about to get our company good card with Al Roker and his hassle-free holiday cookbook. More than 125 recipes for family celebrations all year long. So we're talking a New Year's Eve cocktail party, a Super Bowl Sunday party, Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, it's a life worth picnic, Halloween, Easter, and more. The first holiday will be covering as appropriately the first chapter in this cookbook, Thanksgiving with all the trimmings. Next up will be Hanukkah, and then finally Christmas. I'll be covering all three of those holidays and corresponding holiday feasts per cookbook by chronological order, by order of which they appear in your 2021 calendar. This Scribbler publication was purchased for $3.99, and as far as I can tell, there is no retail price to be found anywhere in this book. And that's a good thing for me. It might be a good thing for you, depending on which bookstore you bought this from when it was first published in 2003. Recipes are co-written by Maria Lisa Coulter, with photographs by Mark Thomas. There is a full color photo inset here, which I will show you later on. But for now, let me show you the top of this dedication. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why this range so resonant each and every holiday season. Family is what the holidays are all about. It's not a holiday unless you spend it with some family. And family can be whatever you make it. Even though this cookbook is 18 years old and has somewhat aged with time, I still believe that this can service your family nobly well any holiday you celebrate. Including that one uncle of yours, you know, that other Uncle Al who dropped in unexpectedly to your Thanksgiving dinner with his new bride of all people. You know, the one that half your family thinks is kind of, you know, out there. Yeah. Above and beyond the holidays advertised on the cover, this also features a Boxing Day Caribbean menu, a weatherman's meal for Groundhog Day because you know Al Walker is not just the weatherman, but it's a jack of all trades at the Today Show on NBC. And on Food Network for that matter. But as I said, we're going to be focusing on the holiday season proper. And of course, to kick off to the holiday season primer. Which is... Thanksgiving with all the trimmings. And those trimmings are... A creamy mushroom soup. Potato leek soup. Hold on, Uncle Al. I'll be there. I'm walking. Thanksgiving salad with parsley dressing. And of course, the center stage star. Both turkey and gravy. By the way, you see these three, now four, tips at the beginning of this book? You know, turkey basics, stocking your pantry, fridge, and freezer, no cook orders for a crowd. You'll find many helpful tips and techniques to streamline your holiday dinner preparations throughout this book, along with our signature wit and candor, which you can really feel throughout each word. Basic bread stuffing, cornbread stuffing for a crowd, and of course, for Thanksgiving desserts, how about some sweet potato poon? Gotta have sweet potato poon! With sweet marshmallows! Make ahead mashed potatoes, Baking powder biscuits, green beans with walnuts, warm cabbage with bacon and apple cider, roast acorn squaws with variations for savory squaws and squaws with a maple bourbon glaze. Homemade cranberry sauce. Nothing can, please. Unless you like the sound of it plopping dead onto your plate. First cranberry relish, which really is a step up from cranberry sauce, yet no less easy. Pumpkin pie with a ginger snap crust, along with a tip for how to freeze pies, a chocolate pecan pie, and finally for this chapter, sour cream apple pie. Sour cream and apples. Wow, that's a new combination I haven't heard of. Even though this cookbook is 18 years old, yes, you still can learn something new. As for that full color inset, this covers most of the holidays featured in here. By the way, there's another holiday here which you might not have heard about. St. Lawrence Day. If you have this cookbook, you should probably let Al fill you in on that. So here we have pigs in a blanket, stripped with cocktail sauce, biscuits with ham and apple butter, and classic cocktails. Chicken pilau with tropical punch, smoked beef ribs with mustard sauce, glazed baked ham with roasted baby potatoes or potatoes. 
if you live in the Tri-State area. Gl grilled glazed donuts with vanilla ice cream. So as you take a look at this full color photo of set and all the chapters in here, you'll know that this covers the holiday season year round, which I said, and as this book demonstrates, is 365 days a year. Even for the hidden holidays, which you might not know about, again, St. Lawrence Day of all holidays. It's like you have an Uncle Al right alongside you, guiding you through all of your holiday preparations. This even goes so far as to provide a list of holiday hotlines and helpful websites, which you can find here at the editor's book. Massive shout out to Al, by the way, for including Cook's Illustrated Magazine. You know, America's Test Kitchen is my near literal bread and butter. Food Network would be second place. A very strong, very shiny silver medal. By the way, if you do decide to utilize the holiday hotlines and helpful websites, remember, some of the websites might be retired, so, uh, you're gonna have to make a judgment. Also, some of the numbers might be discontinued in here, so you literally will have to make the call to figure out which ones will work. There's also a list of resources to get equipment and ingredients that you might not have in your pantry or your fridge. Once again, no retail price. And no matter what you might have purchased this for, I can tell you, it's worth the price and worth the relative hassle. This is an episode from the introduction, and we have a couple of photos from the full color photo insert advertised on the back. One more thing. Some of the ingredients that the recipes call for in here might be out of date as well. You'll have to make those adjustments. But then again, this state is 18 years old. And otherwise, I say that this hassle-free holiday cookbook has a lot of hustle to show for all of its family-friendly yet smooth as silk flow. The next holiday is Hanukkah, and for that, we're about to gather around the family table. More specifically, Mama Smurts, homemade, hand-carved family table. These are the Smurts siblings' recipes and moments from a nomadic life. And if you watched Food Network's Smurts Eats, you probably know them. Jazz Smurts Wall, Johnny Smurts Bell, Jake Smurts, the chef proper in his family, and one of the actors from Fox's Juggernaut music drama Empire. He played Jamal Lyon, although I really can't quite recollect his name. Here's the thing. Three guys actually jumped me in an alley last night as I was coming home grocery shopping so bad to the point where I developed a brief case of amnesia and couldn't really figure out who any celebrity's name was, let alone yours. Even though I don't quite watch you on Empire that often, but then again I don't watch Empire, period. It's not my thing. What is your name, dude? I can't really figure it out. Oh, there it is, right there. Jussie Smollett. There you go. Well, for a kind of line about not knowing your name, am I about to be indicted by a grand jury? Or at the very least here in New Jersey, face a misdemeanor summons? <laughs> I could nitpick about this guy all day. But you know what? What's really important to me for this video is how well you contribute to the family table. Jake Smollett is a chef and TV personality. Johnny Smollett Bell is an award winning artist and activist. And Jazz Smollett Wall has spent the past decade as a writer producer on various award and talk shows. She's also a food and lifestyle writer for online print publications. So, each of the Smollett siblings have some media and food experience, and that all is put on display admirably in the family table, which was published by William Moore and was purchased for $4.99. As said earlier, we are going to be highlighting some Hanukkah recipes. I don't talk about Hanukkah that often because I don't observe Hanukkah here in this house. But many, many people do in many homes across the country. So with that in mind, I think it's high time we bring some Hanukkah recipes into the equation so that we can cure your Hanukkah. You know, your Hanukkah hunger? Hanukkah. All recipes highlighted for this review are from their Hanukkah menu. And I will show you some more sample menus at the end of this book. But here we have some brown butter lamb chops. This is a recipe from Journey. 
That will make four servings. Next up, we have some potato latkes. That really is a staple, if not the staple, of any proper Hanukkah feast. This is from Daz, who got this recipe from her Grand Molly, her grandmother, when she last came to visit from New Mexico. Also, we have some cheesy broccoli. Again, this is contributed by Journey. That'll make four to six servings. How about some homemade potato chips and caramelized onion dip? That again is from Journey. That'll make a big bowl of chips and three cups of dip to serve four to six. Matzo bark. This is again from Jazz. So yep, black women are wooing this review. That'll make six to eight servings. Next up, we have coconut macaroons. I will confess now, I am a satisfied cookie monster. Again, Johnny. Yep, black women are willing this review. If you want some more sample menus, check them out here in the Special Feast menu section. All the recipes I highlighted were from the Hanukkah menu, or as it's said in here, Chanukka. That reminds me of a little ditty David and I used to do in school too, you know? Hanukkah, Chanukkah, Hanukkah, Chanukkah, Hanukkah, Chanukkah, Hanukkah, Chanukkah. That was a little song we made up with the two different pronunciations of this holiday's name. I got a song for you guys. And, um, I want you, like, guys to hear this. You guys subscribe because I'm going to sing it. Hanukkah, Chanukkah, 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 Hanukkah, 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 this also covers Valentine's Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, of course, New Year's Day, 4th of July, a spring gathering, just for the heck of it, and yes, Christmas. This is a family affair, so you'll find plenty of recipes in here that have been handed down from a smallest of generations past, adapted by the smallest of today, or four smallest who co-authored the family table. As it says, it's a whole lot of family and food, from the Smollett siblings. And if you have been privy to their show on Food Network, Smollett Eats, you probably know what to expect in here. Good food, plenty of family anecdotes, a lot of good natured humor, and a whole lot of love to give. Not to mention, a whole plethora of delicious looking food photographs, as well as quality Smollett family portraits around the table, and in the kitchen. There's something for the great outdoors, something for movie night, something for any holiday, official and unofficial, that you want to celebrate. There's a recipe in here for that. And, as you can tell from the Asian Lobster Wonton Tacos, it's also culture spanning as well. It's spanning the globe, as the great Len Berman of News for New York once said. Nothing to say here in the back of the book, except for some more um, food photographs, which really do the talking better. Although this, I say, does most of the talking. Aren't they cuties? Well, there you go. That is the family table from the smaller siblings. Unfortunately, it has to be dinged for failure to acknowledge the fans on account of three of the smallets. That would be Journey, Jake, and Jesse. Not that that's the most of Jesse's problems at this point, but I'll give him a piece of my mind later on. As for Jazz, in regards to one of the loaf recipes, she exclaims at the end of her introduction to that recipe, Love y'all. Well, if for her, this would have received a lower score than what I will be grading at the end of this video. But for now, this is one family table that, for the exception of one of the smaller that you might probably figure out who that is, I would definitely want to get around again and again and again. This is a literal family empire that is quite honest to goodness delicious. Well, not exactly that honest to goodness. Well, folks, if you made it this far, then some congratulations might be in order. You managed to tackle the Super Bowl of holiday entertaining, food-wise, Thanksgiving. 
Then you got a little lighter with Hanukkah. Although, not that much lighter for your waistline. But hey, it's the holidays! Live a little! And love a lot. All the while with the sass, grace, and chutzpah of a Megan the Stallion. Or just a regular stallion. So now, it's come to this. The Pro Bowl of holiday entertaining, Christmas. And I call it the Pro Bowl because the rules are a little less stringent. There's fewer of them. And you have a little more free reign as to what to serve on an annual basis every single Christmas. Compared to Thanksgiving and Hanukkah. Although, if you're stuck in a rut as to what to whip up for this year's Christmas Day dinner, why don't we let Pat and Tina Neely help you out, along with Anne Volkwein. This is their celebration cookbook, down-home meals for every occasion. I can't confirm or deny, by the way, that the title and overall celebratory vibe for this video was based, in part, by Down Home with the Neelys on Food Network. But there is a strong connection. Nevertheless, this Alfred A. Knopf publication was purchased for $3.99. And we're not gonna waste one minute sooner. Let's get to the holiday cocktail party! Now, each party chapter begins with an introduction from both Pat and Gina, and then we get to the heart of it all, the recipes. For the holiday cocktail party, we have hot crab and mushroom dip with toasted peanut points from Gina. Gina's smoked cheesy piggies in a blanket. And a dual photograph here, two pages of some of those recipes here in this chapter. Sweet and sour mini meatballs, a blood orange bellini from Gina, and chocolate truffle bites. By the way, if you don't see either Gina or Pat's name at the beginning of each of the recipe captions, well then, know that it's a dual recipe. It's a joint collaboration. Then we come to this Christmas dinner. This is make it or break it time, folks. This is one where you get out the mistletoe or you get out of the kitchen. We have the Neely's Prime Rib with Ruby Port Sauce with instructions for how to make the Ruby Port Sauce to serve alongside. Green beans and bacon. Maple glazed carrots from Pat. Hearty wintergreen saute. Smoky scalloped potatoes again, joint collaborations. This one, you should plan ahead for. Whenever you see this clock symbol here, plan ahead. Well, that's a recipe that requires a little bit of time. We have here Gita's Butterscotch Pudding Pots and Cashew Brittle. And if you want to look up each of the recipes by course, you know, appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, dips, sauces, rubs, main courses, salads, soups, stews, well, you'll find those recipes on page 281, along with an alphabetical index. And already, I favor this book over the other two. You want to know why? Look at the acknowledgments here. Dual acknowledgments. To every fan of Down Home with the Neelys who has been with us since day one, may we always encourage and enlighten your spirit and share the greatest gift of all. Laughter and togetherness. Togetherness, excuse me. Thank you for showing us love and enjoying our stories of memorable celebrations at the dishes we are so proud of. Now, go throw a party! Reason number two why I favor this cookbook over at least one of the other ones. Ben Fink's Photography. Compared to Al Roker's hassle-free holiday cookbook, here we have more photographs and an even distribution of them, courtesy of one of the masters of cookbook photography, Ben Fink. Reason number three, and really the most important reason why I prefer this over the other two. Yes, we have covered some of the usual suspects for the holiday season year-round. I mean, come on, from January to December, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, Christmas, the Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, which is my favorite holiday. Yeah, it's so cliched and so contrived to say, but it really is my favorite. I can't help but be romantic. If I am a snarky romantic at that. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Labor Day, the usual stuff. But here we have a more diverse lineup of holidays that you would mark on your calendar on a regular basis unofficially. Like for example, a spring cleaning party and rehearsal dinner, the latter for a wedding in April. Memphis in May, if you live in Memphis, that is the annual citywide festival. We also have Girls' Night and a Mini Moon that is a second honeymoon in August. 
another chance to rekindle your romance, and I think one chance that's more meaningful than Valentine's Day, if you feel that it is still somewhat contrived. We have a tailgate party in November, really no big surprise, a neighborly housewarming in October. We have a sassy switch team for one of the nearly starters, Selby, in December. And then finally we have a menu which I hope you won't whip up anytime soon. Why? Because Sweet Tea and Sympathy in July is a meal that you would whip up for somebody who lost a loved one and then you went to the funeral and then you got it at a friend's house for dinner or lunch. That person might be going through an intense stage of bereavement and secretly between you and I, that person might be going through the eating everything in sight phase just to get through it. Although this is definitely much more understandable than, like, say, a traditional breakup. No, this is a permanent breakup of life on Earth. So, I hope you don't whip this up anytime soon, but if you have to, I hope that this menu works out for you. But other than that, I mean, the majority of this book is plenty lighthearted, good humored, practical to use, Gorgeous to look at, and all around intensely delicious to experience front and back. There's really no one thing I can say about it. That is, unless you're a big Halloween fanatic. In that case, you might not like this because they don't have a Halloween menu in here. For me, I won't mind it. I mean, there are plenty of other holidays to take note of in this cookbook. These guys might be on their way to Splitsville now, but I can tell you, this is one cookbook that puts the yo, 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 and ho, 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 and beyond. You can feel the love in every page, in every recipe, and soon, in every bite. For this is truly love at first bite. It's been one lip smacking, oh snapping experience going down home for the holidays. But alas, this delicious world trip in between six hardcovers has come to an end. So, it's high time we bring it all home and rank each of these items. A possible maximum score of 15 claps to be awarded with up to 5 claps per cookbook. Time for second place will be Al Walker's hassle free holiday cookbook and the smaller siblings' family table. They tie for second place because, well, we have a full color photo inset in the holiday cookbook here, but that's all the photos you're gonna get inside. The smaller siblings' family table has more photographs and an even distribution amount of them, as opposed to this, but in regards to three of the smaller siblings, failure to acknowledge the fans will not be tolerated on my channel, no. You should thank God for your sister Jazz and her love y'all exclamation, otherwise you would be ranked 4 claps and 3rd place. So, that's my ruling for each of these books. I have the nearly celebration cookbook at the top of this trifecta because it deserves to be at the top. I've already listed its advantages as opposed to these two, so I'll just say this. There might not be such a thing as THE perfect holiday celebration cookbook, but this one comes pretty darn close. It gets all five claps for a final total of 14. Just one clap short of the possible maximum score. Let me summarize again what Down Home for the Holidays is all about. It's all about taking a little time, tenderness, and love into preparing whatever you're making for the most important people in your life, family, no matter where they come from or where you celebrate. Hopefully, any one of these books will aid in your quest to become the Cardi B of a holiday feast you have to see, to believe. From here, the only way to go is up. And from there, where you go with either of these cookbooks or all three of them will be your call. Just remember this, when it comes to making something for your family, Making anything less than the best during this peak entertaining season would be borderline indictable. A special prosecutor is now indicting the actor who is accused of making up the story of his racially motivated attack. Need I say more? 
The thrift store right now wishes you a very happy, safe, and scrumptious holiday season ahead. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side. Hanukkah, 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 Good day. Oh, we know my videos.